Welcome, welcome, boys. We're going to do a quick review of this X tool scan tool. WJ Handy Dad did a video on one of these. And I thought, oh, well, maybe I can use that to turn off dark mode on my Crown Vic, which I did. So now we're going to go ahead and do a little quick review and uh, how to use it. So the scan tool is wireless. You may see this thing on the bottom and think you can plug stuff into it. Maybe you can. But this dongle goes to this cable. And then you take this cable and plug it into your OBD port. Okay. And then you power the device on, holding the power button. And now we'll turn the Jeep to the on position. Because I was told it has a check engine light. And I confirmed and verified that when I did the headrest review. That engine light is in fact on. So let's fire this dude up. And see if we can figure out what the problem is. And if it's an easy repair or what's going on with it. Alright, we'll go real time here. Diagnose. Um, let's just do OBD2 for now. We don't need to scan any of the other modules. Because only checking to see what's going on with the engine light so let's go uh, I guess let's go auto scan uh, let's try that top one read trouble codes how about stored codes no stored codes in that module okay so let's go back Try that module. Read trouble codes. Stored. Catalyst system efficiency below threshold bank one. So to the casual observer, that would mean either the catalytic converter is going bad or the rear oxygen sensor is going bad. So what we can do is I'll start this thing up and then test the live data on it. Which I kind of didn't want to do before sticking my head under the engine, but let's go ahead now and go to some live data. Uh, let's see, let's see. Oxygen sensor output voltage, bank one sensor one. We want to do. Let's do both bank one sensor one and bank one sensor two. Okay. So bank one sensor one should be bouncing up and down, and it is. Uh, sensor 2 seems to be kind of hovering around. Usually I use a graph for this. Will, can I get a graph on this? And normally when I look at oxygen sensor live data, I can look at the, the, num the numbers, but I prefer to see the actual graph where they go up and down. I think that gives me a better visual better visual of that so I think then let me read the freeze frame data maybe that'll tell me what this car was doing exactly when that triggered okay that was PO420. Well, we know that. That's the, uh... That is the... Sensor. Or the oxygen sensor. Or the catalytic converter, whichever is bad. I wonder what the fuel trim's doing, though. Mm, 
that all looks pretty normal. So it's not like we had an excessive amount of fuel being dumped into the catalytic converter, or not enough, running too lean for that matter. Okay. All right, well, I may use my BMW scanner, plug this in and use that for an actual visual, and then clear the code. I don't want to clear it yet. Catalytic converter temperature is 527 degrees. Cool. I guess that's normal. Okay, well... I'll get a better visual of that, and then we'll know if it's actually doing what it's supposed to be doing or not. But that's a, a brief crash course on this particular one. But as for the diagnostics, I'll use the BMW. We'll come back with the BMW scanner. Okay, and so another way you can test your catalytic converter, other than looking at sensor data and assume it's working, is with this. So if we check what the temperature is going into the catalytic converter, it should be cooler than when it's coming out. So 250-ish degrees going in. Catalytic converter itself is cooler. That might mean it is bad, but let's check. Where's it coming out? Oh no, it is hotter. Okay. So the pads are working. Two sixty versus three fifty. So about a hundred degrees difference. I'd say it's working. I would say maybe the O2 sensor is just getting a little dirty, not working as well. Or you could do that cheater device and put that in there like I did on my uh, Crown Vic and then not have to worry about it. So that's probably what I'm going to recommend to her, but I'll go ahead and also show what it would look like on a scan tool, your uh, oxygen sensor data that you're looking for. Okay, so now I have my BMW scan tool, the one I use the most and I'm the most familiar with. Okay, so we have the generic catalyst system efficiency below threshold code. Current and pending, so it's still checking again. But now we want to go to data stream. Because. Alright, so what are we looking for? Oxygen sensor. Output voltage, that's bank two cents one. We need to look for bank one sensor two, which I'm guessing I passed up. It must be way up at the top, and I overlooked it. Bank one sensor two. Okay, so it should be chilling between 0.5 and like 0.7-ish. Um, it's bouncing around a lot. So let's... Oops. I'm going to view graphic items, not accidentally back out of it. So just for comparison's sake, let's do oxygen sensor output voltage. Do bank one sensor one so you can get a comparison. These should not look the same. And I've done a video on this before with the Crown Vic. So, it's almost, it's almost mirroring it, look at it, whatever 
sensor one is doing, which is what it should be doing. Sensor one looks perfect. This wavy line is normal for the red sensor one. The black sensor two should be much higher and very steady. You know, it can go up and down a little bit, but it should not be just like this. So I am going to recommend then that she replace the rear O2 sensor before just assuming the catalytic converter is bad. I mean, after all, this thing does have 121,000 miles and, you know, oxygen sensors are generally good for about 100,000. So I'd say it's probably due for one. Replace the rear O2 sensor and then I might also suggest that cheater device that I used in my Crown Vic. So, all right, that is a brief course in how we used our X-Tool Bluetooth OBD. And then uh, because I wasn't sure how to use the graph on it, or if there is a graph, uh, we broke out the BM2 because I am most familiar with this scan tool. So, all right. We'll get this taken care of, and uh, we'll probably have the Jeep back on the channel then, I'm guessing, for a rear O2 sensor replacement and cheater device install. So, catch you in the next one, boys. Thanks for watching. Peace.